11 benevolent elephants, 11 benevolent elephants, 11 benevolent elephants, 11 benevolent elephants. <laughs> Man, that's a trunk full. Hey, I'm Fiona Huxley, founder of Wildlife Wake Up Call. I've had the utter joy of learning about elephants while making an elephant documentary. And here are just some extraordinary secrets you might not know. Elephants have the longest pregnancy of all mammals. It takes a mama L nearly two years to give birth. That's a ton to carry. 200 pounds of precious pachyderm. An elephant's trunk is actually a long nose, used for smelling, snorkeling, trumpeting, <laughs> but not drinking directly. Elephants use their trunk like a straw to suck up water and bring it to their mouth underneath. With over 100,000 muscles, an elephant's trunk is strong enough to lift a tree trunk and sensitive enough to pluck a flower. Elephants hear through their feet. Yeah, you heard me. Or rather, you felt the earth move under my feet. Let's just call it vibrotactile communication. Elephants listen through their feet by picking up subsonic rumblings made by other elephants through vibrations in the ground. Dr. Caitlin O'Connell of Stanford University has been studying this type of elephant communication for years. She even applies her studies to humans, including the hearing impaired. Bonus! Elephants can locate rain even when it's dozens of miles away by using their feet. They're picking up the infrasound, the low frequencies, from storms miles away. I wonder how elephants would like my dad's instrument, the blaster beam. Elephants suck their trunks just like human babies suck their thumbs. Aww. Elephants are social animals. They hug by wrapping their trunks together in displays of affection and playfulness. Elephants have six sequential sets of teeth that get replaced throughout their lifetime. The main natural reason they pass away is due to losing their last set of teeth, meaning they can no longer chew any food. The question is, can we get these giants some dentures? Speaking of tusks, did you know they're actually super long incisor teeth? And elephants prefer one tusk over the other, just as humans are left-handed or right-handed. Wonder if any are ambitusctress. That is so not a word, although it is now. African elephants' ears are their own air conditioning unit. They have the largest ears of any animal on Earth, accounting for 20% of their overall surface area. They make for gigantic fans. They have a very sophisticated blood flow network circulating through their ears, similar to a car radiator, that cools them down up to nine degrees Fahrenheit. Bonus! African elephants' ears are actually shaped like the African continent. It's a great way to tell the difference between African elephants and Asian elephants who have much smaller, flappier ears. Elephants perform funerals. Elephants pay homage to their dead by gently caressing the skulls and tusks with their trunks and feet. When an elephant walks past a place where a loved one has died, they'll freeze stay silently paused, grieving from hours to days before moving on. Elephants live up to 70 years old and have meticulous memory. Elephant elders can remember where watering holes are that they haven't visited for decades. These are no new kids on the block. Elephants can't jump. 90s throwback. Remember white men can't jump? Well, neither can elephants. Reason being, they don't have to. Most jumpy animals like kangaroos, monkeys, frogs, do it primarily to get away from predators. Elephants, they rely on their huge size and protective social groups. Besides, you try getting four tons of behemoth to defy gravity. Hey, don't sweat it. Elephants don't sweat. Unlike most mammals, elephants don't have sweat glands. They simply can't afford the water loss. Adult elephants have zero natural predators, except for one, humans. And because of that, they're on track to becoming extinct in about 10 short years. Unless we stop the current rate of poaching and ivory sales all over the world, 
Elephants could become a distant memory. Let's not let that happen on our watch. To learn more about the elephant crisis and what you can do to get involved, join me at wildlifewakeupcall.org. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Why do you like elephants? Remember, an elephant never forgets.